Quest, 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 Yeah, this is Impala music. Fake niggas hate on it. Real niggas choose it. Real niggas wait on it. Then they fucking lose it. In my Impala Chevy riding so All right. What's going on, world? You are now tuning in to Mamba and Jerry Holly. Boycat Magazine, boycatmag.com. This is an interview with Austin's new upcoming, fuck it, Austin's best comedian. I, I said, yeah, best comedian. Bringing out houses down, all of ATX, North Austin, Southwest, the whole damn city. What's going on, man? How you feeling, Jerry? Not much, man. Doing good, you know. That's what's up. Do. All right, man. So let's get right into it, man. So what made you want to start comedy? Uh, I don't know, man. I've been talking shit my whole life, so. And I've always been somebody just talking shit. And I had an uncle, man. He, uh, he came up to me, like, at a family function some years ago. I was like, man, what you want to do with your life? And I was like, I don't know, you know, work, get a job or something. He was like, nah, fuck all that. You're going to be a stand-up comedian, and I got the material. So I was like, I don't know about all that. But then, uh, you know, a few months ago, I was like, fuck it. Let me try this shit out. I'm hooked. What's up, man? Now, as a comedian, when you first started out, was it a pre-written or was it freestyle? Uh, man, nah, I freestyled all that shit. You know, but I'm right now, you know, I write, 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 write. Just much as I can, like, I still don't use it, but I, I'm working on using it, like, but I got jokes written in the chamber, so. All right, word. All right, man, let's talk about hecklers now. What's been your <laughs> worst heckler experience as a comedian uh, thus shit. far? Yes. How's your mama? Well, how's my mama? <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> I'll slap you in the mouth with my dick. <laughs> I had this, uh, <laughs> I was at an open mic night, man, and this, I don't know, this dude was heckling people all night. Like, he just, I guess he thought he was just funnier than the people doing the comedy. So, right when I get up there, you know, I don't even know if he opened his mouth, but I was just like, man, fuck you. And like, I just went in on him, I started, you know, calling him all kind of motherfuckers and shit. Uh, I dropped a racial slur, I think, he dropped one. Uh, he rushed the stage and like, you know, try to like, he was like, oh, you're gonna fuck me? And fuck me. So I just went, to, you know, went to go grab for his dick. You know, I gave him the microphone. I was like, moan like the bitch you are. And he just dropped the mic and shut the fuck up and got off the stage. That's intense. And then I just started making fun of him for some hours. Wow. And I, I don't know, it was all in good fun. We shook hands and shit afterwards. Wow. It's all love, you know? It's comedy, man. Yeah. It all goes down sometimes. Man. All right, man, let's talk about your influences, man. When you first started, you know, Getting into comedy, uh, reading about it, writing like, scripts and everything. Who'd you look up to? Okay. Uh, man, like, shit, Richard Pryor, Richard Pryor, I got all his records, like, on vinyl and shit, so I got all those, so I used to listen to those all the time. I like Tracy Morgan a lot, Mike Epps, Martin Lawrence, mainly all the typical black comedians, Eddie Murphy. I guess, I don't know, some white dudes that are funny, but. Like who? Uh, Dan Tosh is fucking hilarious, that dude is awesome. Uh, Makes it sound like a comic ra comedian racist, but whatever it is, what it is. Oh, Lisa Lampanelli, I love that fat woman, bitch. Oh, man, I'd get her pregnant. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would. Oh, man, I'd toss a few in that motherfucker. She was fat and ugly, and I don't give a shit. Word, word. Speaking about tossing a few, man, let's talk about um getting your ass sucked. Uh, you know, you always <laughs> drop that line in your comments, you're getting your ass sucked, man. Go ahead and tell the folks out there about the, the pleasurable experience about getting your ass sucked. Well, I, I, don't, I don't really do it too often. It's just it's just something to me that's just so funny because like people are kind of like, I don't know about that an asshole get licked. But I, I remember one time I had my butthole sucked on, it wasn't that bad, pretty cool. Busting a nut, I, I don't know if I'm busting a nut and get my ass sucked. But I, I can see how you could bust a nut while getting your ass, I don't know. I'm just saying it's funny to me, so I like to say things that are funny to me. For the big girl? Uh, yeah, she. she Definitely doing clap push-ups outside, man. <laughs> oh, man. Good time. That's what's up, man. All right, man, so, you know, future career going pretty good. You've been in the game for how many years now? Like a year and a half, two years? Six months. Six months? Maybe. Nah, listen, a year, year and a half, two years, man. Nah, man, oh. a few months. Okay. Well, cool. cold like that. <laughs> oh, the heat. It's a natural, man. 
That's what's up, dude. So can we expect a tour, maybe? You know what's some Shit, man. I don't know. I got a regular job. I'd love it, though. Yeah. I'd want it. Shit, I want to, man. The more and more I get up there, the more and more I get out there, the better. Okay. So if you can go on tour, what would be your dream team, crew, on the tour bus? It could be local, it could be one of your aisles, anybody. Nah, man, LaShonda Lester. LaShonda, LaShonda superstar. She's fucking awesome. She's, she's like out here at a, like, she's probably one of my favorite comedians out here. She's fucking hilarious. And she's pimp bitches. What? Yeah, she's pimp bitches back in Detroit. That was a shit. Dang, the D. Yeah, the D is so cold. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it. Yeah. So, I mean, we could have her in the tour but with a stable of hoes. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had the rest of the crew, man. Come on, let's, let's do this. Holding down the board. Word, word, man. All right, let's talk about um, panhandlers. I throw my money on the flow, 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 flow. Dinch, do, 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 dinch, do. What's your opinion on these panhandlers and Austin? Fuck them. <laughs> you ain't got no job, you ain't gonna see this. Fuck you. Fuck the panhandlers. Hey. Man, look. Hey, man, I'm in hard times. Fuck you. <laughs> Check from the government, man. Fuck <laughs> with me. Nice, nice, man. All right, dude. I gotta ask you. This is what I think I see in you. Um, you resemble Drake a lot, you know? So, uh, how does it feel to be Drake Drake lookalike? Man, I get that shit all the time. Side the way you doing it for Light Skinner Brothers. Coming back, Light Skinner's in. I said Light Skinner. You know, I'm talking tonight. <laughs> all right. All right, man. All right. Let's talk about They Ain't Ready, man. Um, before They Ain't Ready, it was Urban Warfare. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead and you know, tell them about the history of those two sites. Ah, uh, shit. Pretty much Kenny started Urban Warfare. I don't give a fuck what you do. Just be a man. Oh, we gonna find that motherfucking shit pants one day. He gonna be on the come up one day. We gonna find his that like ah. <laughs> I came in. I came in to fuck with him like later on, like doing a lot of video work and stuff like that. And then we all moved away from San Antonio and what's it called? Moved to uh, moved to, where the hell? Oh wait, man, we was like out and about for a few years, and then we all kind of met back up in Austin, and then like we're like man, we need to do something, you know? So then. So, if you blew up, man, let's say you had a deal signed for a million to be comedy for life, what's the first thing you would do with that money? Probably go buy a whole bunch of fucking jewelry that I can never wear a shirt again. You had a jewelry, though? Know? Like, I walk the block and do he kind of, he ain't, he ain't really built, but he got his gut. But yeah. he just wear the jewelry, so it don't matter. Right. So I'll probably just have a whole bunch of jewelry that I can just find my hand with. Just buy yeah, yo! <laughs> nice, man. All right, dude. Um, what's I wanted to ask you? Oh, favorite rapper of 2011. That came out in 2011, or that's just that, that's or who I jam yeah, like right now. Who you jamming right now on your iPod? Uh, tape deck, you still rocking tape decks? <laughs> Damn, that's like I can't even fuck with that list. Uh, it could be top three. I fuck with Drake. Drake, I've been listening to a bunch of Drake lately. Uh, Mellow Height, <laughs> Mellow, uh, fuck, what's it, Odd Future shit, yeah. some of them. Uh, yeah, Frank Ocean dude in there. Always Boosie, Webby. UGK, Oh man, well shoot, we ain't find a word, shout out to anybody out there? Uh, shit, yeah, uh, shout out to y'all, fucking with me, my folks, you know. All the local comedians out here in Austin that you know keep the scene strong and who accepted me in this motherfucking town. Uh, Kenny Garth for you know being my brother for me. I'm doing name Red Jeezy. Yeah, Kareem J. Williams for stanking on my fucking couch. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. I smell it right now. <laughs> Isaac, Isaac from living in my you know motherfuckers. Uh, Melissa for. Dealing with my crazy ass. Uh, shit, everybody, man. All my people. What's up, man? Well, I felt like that. That wraps it up. Wicked Magazine. This is Mamba signing off here. Holly, it's a pleasure, man. Follow me on Twitter. All right, Jala. That's like Ala, but with a J in front of it. That's what it is. Muslim motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy, man. Wicked for swipe. Check it out. The best thing ever. Ever, 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 ever. Boycottmag.com. Y'all, I just can't.